Did you know it's possible to have three fathers during our life? Well, that's been the case with me. I had a natural birth father, JC. JC worked hard. He took care of our family, loved my mom, me, my brother, and he provided for us. And I know sometimes in life, some of us have had fathers that disappoint us. I was fortunate that wasn't the case for me. Secondly, I had a heavenly father. I think I shared with you in the third grade, the teacher there was telling me I was an accident. Something blew up or two amoeba happened to hit in a muddy puddle of water and I was the result. She was telling me I was an accident. And thank goodness my mother and grandmother had me in church and there the pastor was telling me that wasn't the case at all. There was an all knowing, all loving, all powerful God who looked down, knit me together in my mother's womb. He made me special and different, and he wanted to have a personal relationship with me. The reason why that's so important, asking him to come into my life, forgive me of my sins, and be my Lord and personal savior, and be my heavenly father, he helps us with our families and being a natural father. And then the third thing that I think I've shared with you guys at times, I had a spiritual father, a little Sunday school teacher in Fayetteville, Arkansas. And George took me under his wing. He prayed for me, okay, he counseled me, and at times he disciplined me. He would chew me out. He became my spiritual father. So I would just ask you, do you have a heavenly father who can help us be the right dad and mom to our family, our kids, our grandkids, and can help us be the right kind of spiritual father to our family or to friends or loved ones. If that's the case, and you would like to have a personal relationship with your Lord and Savior, he said we can do that by praying this little prayer, meaning it in your heart. And this prayer goes like this, Father, I know that I'm a sinner, and I know that you sent your son, Jesus Christ, to this earth. He lived a perfect life. You allowed him to go to that cross and be crucified on that cross so I could have forgiveness of sin. I ask you to come into my life, forgive me of my sins, and be my Lord and personal Savior. Amen. Is that great or what? An all-powerful God that we can have guiding us in our life. Now, I hope that you'll find the link on this post and let us know if you prayed that prayer. And we have a lot of material there that can help you grow spiritually. It is all free, okay? We have a little New Testament study Bible that has 14 topics in it that we'll send you. We have tracks that we can send you and we have a lot of other um, material that you can view on our website. Thank you for joining me today.